So when it comes to DC animated movies, the continuity can be confusing. Which movies are connected to what? And which movies are labeled the same? So let's go ahead and get into that. First of all, we have the one-off DC animated movies, such as Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Scooby-Doo and Batman the Brave and the Bold. These aren't under the same label as DC animated movies like Batman Under the Red Hood and The Dark Knight Returns, movies such like that, which I'll get into a little bit later. But other one-off movies include movies such as Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders. Although it is connected to Batman vs. Two-Face, it's connected to no other movie and isn't labeled as movies that are in the greater DC Animated Universe, movies that have the DC Animated Universe original label. This goes for movies like the Batman Unlimited movies as well. Although they are connected to each other, they aren't connected with anything else or share a label with other DC animated movies. Batman Ninja is another movie like that, but let's go ahead and get into the movies that are connected or at least share a label. So let's go back to the first DC animated movies made, the DCAU movies. These movies are connected, not only are they connected to each other, but they are also connected to the DCAU shows such as Batman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, etc. During the DCAU's original run, there were only four of these movies, all Batman movies, but later on there were two more, another Batman movie, and a Justice League movie. So this is fairly simple, you can tell they're all connected and in the same universe, but things start to get kinda confusing in 2007 with Superman Doomsday, this was the introduction of the DC Animated Universe original animated movies. There are over 30 movies sharing this label, but none of them really are connected until you get to Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox. So from Superman Doomsday up until The Flashpoint Paradox, none of these movies are connected aside from the two Dark Knight Returns movies that tell one cohesive story. However, all these movies share a title, so when you refer to the DC animated original movies, you are referring to these movies such as Batman Under the Red Hood, The Dark Knight Returns, Year One, Superman vs. The Elite, etc. Now getting into the New 52 movies, which are connected. Flashpoint Paradox is the movie that spawned this, so really only the end of Flashpoint is connected to this universe because the events of Flashpoint is the only thing that carries over everything pre-Flashpoint and the Flashpoint movie isn't connected to this universe. And Flashpoint wasn't even confirmed as being connected until Suicide Squad Hell to Pay, which was confirmed to be connected to all this in Batman Hush when Batman references the Suicide Squad. And they could probably still not make that connected to the New 52 universe if they really wanted to, but the animation style is the same, so I just take it that it is connected to these movies. Then there's still some DC animated movies that I've missed, such as like the Batman vs. Dracula, that's only connected to the Batman TV show, it's not connected to anything else, and doesn't share a label with any of these other movies. But just one more thing I want to touch on that is kind of confusing, from the start of Flashpoint, which began the New 52 universe, there are one-off movies that still have the DC Animated Universe original label on them that aren't connected to the New 52 films. You can usually differentiate them by the animation style. If the animation style is different and it has that label, it's not part of the New 52 universe, but it's still under the same label. So Gotham by Gaslight, for example, it came out in the middle of the New 52 run of these movies, but it is not connected, it's an Elseworlds story. And the same thing goes for Batman the Killing Joke. So if you had any confusion on the DC animated movies, I hope this kind of clears up which movies are connected, which aren't, which share the same label, which don't have that label. So hopefully the next time you watch a DC movie, you can tell if it's in continuity with another movie or isn't. So just out of curiosity, let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite DC animated movie, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you guys sometime. <laughs>